Juan Gallardo, thank you very much for being on WPC thank you. TV. Thank you. Pleasure to be with you here. You're a leading uh, Mexican businessman, but also uh, you were one of the negotiators of the original NAFTA agreement, North American Free Trade Agreement. Uh, what is wrong with NAFTA? It's, uh, most economists think, probably all of them will say it's been a great success. Donald Trump doesn't think so. So what's wrong? How can it be improved? I think to, uh, first, let me say I was not a negotiator. I was just, uh, I had the privilege of coordinating the Mexican private sector in a very close teamwork with our negotiating team. And uh, I think that uh, NAFTA has been an extraordinary success. I mean, I won't go into any numbers or anything. Everybody knows it and so on. It uh, withstands any kind of analysis. But as any agreement that you made almost a quarter of a century ago, you look back on it and the world has changed and things could be improved and deepened and modernized and transformed and so on. So I think there's a very, very unique opportunity. But Donald today. Trump, of course, doesn't like trade deficits. Well, I don't think you measure the, uh, an agreement by the deficits. I mean, that is perfectly clear. It's, it makes it, that is not the measurement what you do. You should measure by volume. You should measure by jobs created. You should measure by uh, chains of production. You should measure by internal trade, etc. So from your point of view, how could it be improved? Well, I think there's several things. For example, uh, the whole issue of the transformation in the world, e-commerce, for example obviously a big subject that can be deepened and improved and it wasn't even included in the first go around for the simple reason it didn't exist you know the second i mean mexico at the time and today has undergone major changes one of the most important is in energy and in telecommunications at the time those two issues were not on the table today they're not only on the table they're being totally transformed and locking them in with a further further uh, naft i think makes a lot of sense then a lot, another thing which is very important is the whole dispute settlement system. What we put together in the first go around needs more teeth, needs more enforceability, needs more speed, needs more transparency. And I think that there's the opportunity to do that. You know, Here you have at the table today a little over 700 technical people from three countries who know each other, respect each other and who have worked together for many, many years and who can certainly come up with the solutions to this modernization transformation. So I think it would be absolutely absurd that three countries who have had the level of integration that we have had would not be able to find the steps ahead to further it and improve uh, what, what was Final done. Final question, do you think that the absurdity will be avoided? I totally, um, I think it will take some time there certainly will be some, uh, some difficulties along the way, as we're already sensing. But I think that common sense will prevail and common interest will prevail. The big difference, you see, when we did the NAFTA thing 25 years ago, we were selling a vision. Yeah. Today, we're defending a reality. It's a completely different game set. I wish you the very best of luck in defending the reality. I'm sure it's in everybody's interest to have an after. So, Juan Gallardo. Win, win, win. That's win, the idea. Win, win, win. Juan Gallardo, thank you very, very thank much. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.